Adoption is a beautiful thing, but sometimes the process of becoming adopted can be a little traumatic. So today we're going to discuss the spirit of adoption. The church and God's design for the church has always been one of family. And there's an old school song that I love and adore. It says, I'm so glad I'm a part of the family of God. Washed in his fountain and cleansed by his blood. Join ears with Jesus as we travel along. I'm so glad I'm a part of the family of God. You see, it was God's great love for us that has allowed him to extend an invitation to us to receive the love and to enter into his family. Spiritual adoption can be defined as a divine invitation and acceptance to becoming a child of God. This new identity has been imparted to us upon acceptance of the gospel and it is to be taken literally. The Holy Spirit in us allows us and convinces us to cry, Abba Father. Through this adoption, we now have access and an innate desire to relate to God as Father, not just any father, but a loving father who shows pity and compassion upon us, his children. Having an active awareness of your adoption into the family of God allows you to depend on God for provision and everything that you need. But another part of being invited into the family of God is accepting the loving, corrective nature of God. The Bible says that whom the Lord loves, he corrects. And so God will correct us lovingly because we are a part of his family as sons and daughters to him. His, his loving rebuke comes from a place to keep us out of sin, deception, and error. So in other words, he rebukes us because he loves us and he loves us enough to warn us not to go down paths of destruction. Part of the benefits of being invited into the family of God is knowing that we have rights and access into an inheritance. And an inheritance is something that a child receives from their parents upon the death of the parent. And knowing about Jesus Christ going on the cross, dying and dying for our sins, he died, but he's yet alive. And so we now have an active part in receiving the inheritance of God. And we've received this inheritance because of the grace of God. We were invited into the family of God and now we are made recipients of the inheritance. So how can you know if you've truly been adopted into the family of God? You can ask yourself, are you led by the spirit? Because the Bible says those who are led by the spirit are the sons of God. You'll know when and Holy Spirit orders your steps, directs your paths, gives you instructions, and impresses on your heart in order to do certain kingdom initiatives. When he leads you and guides you into doing the work of the ministry. Children of God flow in power and anointing because of their identity granted to them by their father. Having an awareness of your adoption gives you a deeper sense of love and appreciation for the family of God, for your sisters and your brothers and your neighbors as Jesus would call them. Because we are all submitted to the lordship of Jesus that we've been brought into fellowship by our elder brother, Jesus the Christ. So no more living like an orphan. No more being confused about your identity or living like a bastard. You are a child of God and it's important that you embrace this identity. You are an heir and a joint heir together with Christ. If you believe in your adoption, type in the comments below, I've been adopted.